So lately I've been really wanting to get a dime potential mule deer and I've been hunting them pretty hard lately if you haven't been able to tell. But we've been finding some pretty good bucks. Like this one right here. Actually that's not even the right buck. This one right here. That is a max weight muley at 230 yards out and yeah I'm really happy with that so we're going to take him down. Yeah, he looks like he's pretty much toast. But anyways, we're gonna go over here, swing by and pick up this massive buck. And then we're gonna head over to the next spot. And that is where you're gonna see what happens next. And I don't think we should pass this guy up either. That's another max weight buck out there at about 230. I almost forgot about him. I don't think this one is max weight if I'm not mistaken, is it? Uh, it's just a decent one. Um, but this one here is definitely max weight. I would like him to turn broadside, but I don't know if he's going to. Got a bison coming in here. We might just wait till he picks up his head and go for that kind of a shot. I think we should be able to sneak one in there and get a lung out of that. You know what? That other buck out there just stopped and did we just drop him at, oh my God, we did. That is all of like 280 probably. I honestly don't even know. I just figured he was a little ways out there. So I helped for the spine to compensate for that drop. And he just crumbled. 266 yards out. So hopefully we can find him. Actually, there's our biggest buck there. So we'll just be able to go to him and go straight up the hill. And we'll be able to run right into him. But let's hop down, grab our tripod and continue on with this little adventure. So this is where we hit the first one and it does look like he actually ran off a little ways. We must only caught a single lung, but there he is piled up right there. And this is actually gonna work out really good because he's laying right next to our other buck that we got in the end. So we'll grab him and the left lung at 225, at 387. That was a max weight at 390 score. We'll grab this buck as well. Uh, 366, we got a liver right lung at 269. That was almost a max weight buck. And this is our max weight and our biggest muley that we've seen on this entire map, I would say. Probably like a 450 score. But it's a beautiful buck, just not quite what we're looking for. Anyways, we'll grab him. Oh my god. 484. That's by far our biggest buck on this map. Wow. Double lung heart shot at 237 yards, but he weighed 428 pounds. I honestly don't see how we couldn't get this mounted. We almost have to. But what a perfect shot at 237 yards. Okay, so now that you saw that buck, we're gonna head over to the next spot and I'm gonna show you what we just found. I can't believe what we just found. Our first ever dime potential mountain goat right there. And he has a score estimate from 97 to 124. That's the highest score estimate on a mountain goat that I've ever seen. I don't really know where he's going. I actually came here to try and find some mule deer and he's just kind of sitting out there. Well, I found some more over here, but I still haven't seen the one that we saw. Last he was like right here at 250. I don't know if he's still like sitting in the grass that so we can't see him or what, but I kind of want to go over there and check it out and see like what's going on. Well, I've been waiting for a little while and there's no sign of this mountain goat anywhere. So we're going to get on his track and see where he's heading to. Actually, it looks like he might be looping around kind of back behind where we just were, which is kind of funny because you see that tripod right there? That is where we just were. And it looks like this mountain goat is literally looping right back around unless that's an old track. Oh boy. Well, we've been tracking him for about 20 minutes now and it actually led us to a spot here where I think we could potentially set up a tripod and get this guy to come past. I'm pretty sure that's him right there. It's him, it's definitely him. He's 200 yards away right there. And if you look right here, this is another one. This one's about to follow. Okay, we gotta pay attention here. I don't wanna lose sight of our diamond. But anyways, he's about to come past within 20 yards away is what I'm trying to say. So we better get ready and uh, Pay attention, because here he comes. Oh my god. This one is 13 yards away from us, guys. So, <laughs> okay. He's the one in the back. Now he's going to be the second from the back. He's that one right there. 
He's 60 yards away. He's the second one from the back right there. How did that just happen? He just walked right past, and I think that's him. Okay, well, I don't think this guy has any clue where he's going. He's just running around like crazy. I mean, I just tracked him in a complete circle here. Set up a tripod here. I thought he was coming back in, but now apparently he's going this way. Oh, really? So you're going to drink out there 280 yards away from where we're at. Right after I have a nice little tripod set up here waiting for you to come past. 20 yards away. And you decide to stop at 280 yards away from us. Well, okay then. <laughs> Be that way. I guess we're going to have to get down from here and try and uh, stock up on this. Not exactly trying to run yet, but trying to stock up on this giant mountain goat. Well, there he is right there. 260 yards away. Well, let's put the stock on him. The good thing is we have a good wind and we can take up to like a 100 150 yard shot if we absolutely have to which in this case i mean that's a wide open field there so we might have to take like like a 150 yard shot on this thing <laughs> it's not ideal but i mean you gotta do what you gotta do you know so we're looking at 150 right there if i can get to here i'm thinking we should be within about like 120 he is broadside, so that's going to have to work for a shot. What we're going to do is just use this tree here for cover. So we're going to go right towards this tree. We don't really have to worry too much about cover because this tree will definitely provide a lot of it for us. Well, we got to roughly 180. And I honestly think we can only get about 50 yards closer. <laughs> so we're going to be looking at about 130 yards here, guys. And yeah. We're about to let one fly. Actually, we might get lucky enough to get this guy to come in. Because it looks like he's slowly starting to work his way back this direction here. He's 140 out right there. And he honestly might keep coming. That is a giant. And also, if you look at the fur color on this thing, it looks kind of like a beige. Or like a tannish color. That's not the one that we want. Nor is that one. But that is the one that we want. He's 90 yards away and in closing. Okay, good. Just keep on walking. Oh man, he's coming in fast. He's coming fast. He's coming fast. Kind of want to get him to notice us. Smoked him. <laughs> he's down. Massive mountain goat we just took down. And I think we just made a heart shot. Look at how beautiful that looks. Wow. I do believe he's like some kind of a, a fur variation, like a goldish color. But wow, that is just absolutely stunning right there. I ended up making, I'm pretty sure a heart. Uh, double lung and he's a diamond. A 110 beige diamond mountain goat ended up getting double lung shoulder blade just missed the back of the heart i honestly thought we hit the heart because he did drop we're using the 420s i wouldn't have thought that the uh double lung would drop a uh, diamond mountain goat like that but that is incredible a 110 diamond beige mountain goat and our first ever diamond mountain goat So the way that we found him is I was looking for a mule deer and uh, this is where I got my diamond bighorn. The first diamond bighorn that we got, the 172, which is on the very north end of the map by Settler's Creek here, or uh, Settler End um, Cougar Watch. This lodge right here, we have a tent set up right here and I was looking for mule deer here and right here is where I saw that five medium just trotting around. I had no clue where he was going. I ended up taking him down, well, right here. Uh, I don't even have a zone here, so I really don't know like where he was. We have bighorn sheep, mule deer, mountain goat, uh, feeding mongo from 11 until 1330. That possibly could have been it. But yeah, right here, we took him down. That's a uh, max weight mountain goat there. I think we're going to try and take him down. About 415. That's a hit. And that should be another hit as well. 467 yard 
Right lung spinal cord. Wow. That's by far my farthest shot with the Sem1 on a mountain goat. 451 yard right lung. Okay, so it is possible if you just barely nick the lung, but that's a long ways. That is one smoke cat. We ended up with a walking double lung heart shot at 254 yards, 37.9, and what a beautifully placed shot. Wow, that's actually another max weight Billy out there at about 360. I don't think we're gonna pass him up. Double lung spinal cord, I believe. So it was actually 365 yards, which is a pretty good ways out there, but it's nowhere near the 460 yards that we just took. But a 93.5 gold billy goat. That's a massive ram right there. He's about 120 out from us. I think a mountain lion must have kicked him up. So we want to try and get on him as soon as possible before the mountain lion comes back. But that's him right there. Think we dropped him. Yeah, all of a sudden I looked and there was a bunch of bighorn coming over here. We got a muley buck out here as well. I might as well take him down. It's only going to be like a two minor, but either way, hopefully that will help out with this uh, mule deer zone. I honestly think that this is the same bighorn that we saw the other day that I actually thought was going to be a diamond. But a 148 is a massive bighorn. Double lunged him at 118. That's a beautiful ram right there. Welcome back to our trophy lodge and this is our huge 484 scoring mule deer that we got. That's the biggest mule deer we've gotten so far on Silver Ridge Peaks. But what's more important than that is this, our 110 scoring beige diamond mountain goat that we just got with the bow at 30 yards away. What an incredible looking diamond mountain goat he is. And I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.